we wanted to create a quick little video on the return to serve by CourtSense. ESPN did a nice piece on the return to serve, however they missed one important point. The returner needs to be at the peak of their split when the server is contacting the ball. In this piece, they suggested the player should be on the ground. Perhaps John Isner jumps a little high and isn't balanced when going up in the air. That is another discussion. Proof is in the pudding. Look at where Novak is in his split step when the server is serving. He is on the peak, and then he pushes off from his opposing leg and lunges into the shot. Hope this is helpful to those watching. Djokovic is arguably the best returner in the game. His focus, dynamic balance, and the timing of the ball are incredible. But let's take a closer look at his technique. Watch how he has a nice wide stance initially, lowering his center of gravity. Then he only moves marginally forwards, maintaining his balance, but more crucially making sure the balls of his feet are in contact with the court when his opponent strikes the ball. This then allows him to react quickly. Rarely will he have to guess. And this is very similar technique to that used by Andre Agassi, who is widely regarded as one of the greatest returners ever. In contrast, somebody like John Isner does the exact opposite, moving forwards and then leaping into the air before setting his feet. But this is the crucial difference. Look at where Isner is when Muller contacts the ball. He's still airborne. By the time he drops, loads his legs, and he's ready to move to the ball, it's already past the net, so he has no chance to react. He needs to pay close attention to Djokovic, whose technique when returning is flawless. Okay, you've got Mueller here serving in slow motion. I went frame by frame, and you'll see Novak nice and wide, balanced, as the analyst in ESPN had mentioned. The th point that I th wanted to really convey was look at how Novak at contact is in the air. Right there, it's paused. I paused on my DVR. I'll do it again. So he's in the air, and then he pushes off the right leg. Left leg is going toward the ball and lunges toward, toward the return. So this is a very important aspect of the return. I wanted to show it from another angle. So let's try doing that now. Okay, so you see Novak's nice and low. He's waiting. He's anticipating. He's looking at Mueller and seeing where he's serving, and he probably has a pretty good rhythm at this point. This is later in the match of where his tendencies are. And as the analyst in ESPN mentioned, he goes forward a little bit on the split, but he's actually going to the left anticipating, but in the air, he sees it at contact and then pushes off the right. Now it turns out that one is wide. And this is in regular speed. There's another one, and I did it in slow motion again. So here we go. Novak is nice and low, keenly aware, watching the opponent as he's tossing. I also have my own little theories that he's looking at the opponent and then looking at the ball and his peripherals feeling everything out. He's in the air at contact, pushes off the right leg, reaches out with the left, and then returns. Now here's some frame by frames. You can see the ball's already left his strings, and where is he? He's in the air. Okay, we'll go to another frame. And here we go. Look where he is, he's in the air. Another frame. Where is he? Still in the air. He's left the strings, a couple frames already. And here we go, another frame. Right leg is, right foot is just about to touch the ground. Now it's touching it. So the proprioception skills, balance, all that on the right foot is feeling the ground and it's going to lunge and push off. Right first, then left reaches out, then the left is going to take over, and that's what ends up returning the ball with the feet. And 
And I figured one more would be good to see. And that's just from another angle. It's not one that he has to lunge for as much. But as you can see, Mueller contacts is in the air. He's gaining his balance, Novak. Good shoulder turn. And returns it. Short, compact swing, trying to get it to Mueller's feet. And there we go. That's, uh, that's some insights on Novak's return. Vic Borgogno from SportsSplitStep.com should get recognized for making our court sense team so keenly aware of the importance of a well-timed split step. So many great coaches are not aware of what the proper timing is, therefore they don't work on it with their players. Please take this info and go fly with it. If you go to Vic's website, you'll see a great split step app that is an amazing tool for junior development. Hope all this is helpful.